We are holding this press conference this morning to tell the world that Durham is ready to welcome Afghan refugees to our city. We are expecting it and we want it. As you know, uh, the situation in Afghanistan right now is so bad and the people uh, who work for the U.S. Army, for U.S. government, uh, as of translator, direct, indirect, and your life is at high risk right now. And you know, uh, all Afghanistan is under control of the Taliban right now. And the people are, who work for, uh, for U.S. government, for U.S. Army as of translator, and as of contractor, they left behind right now 65,000 interpreters and contractor they left behind in Afghanistan. So we want from the U.S. government to do not forget your interpreter, your contractor who work with you uh, direct and indirect in Afghanistan. Their life is at high risk right now. And you know, uh, the translator, it was like a light for the U.S. Army, for U.S. government. If you don't have light, you cannot go in the dark. You cannot find anything. That's all that I said, and I want once again from our president, for uh, President Joe Biden, to do not break their promise to help those people. They work in a hard situation, shoulder to shoulder, with U.S. Army, with U.S. government. Thank you so much.